to my wife, Kanya. <laughs> I, I love you with all my heart. And I know I made a couple of promises to you, Mom. So I'd like to make some of them to you. Number one, I cannot promise that I'm always going to throw my shirt in the laundry bin. Sometimes it ends up next to it. I cannot promise you that I'm going to do that. But I can promise you that I will always support your dreams. Because I think that your dreams are big and I think that, think that your dreams are special. And I really do think that you should be able to achieve all of them. To me, Kanya, you are the smartest person that I've ever met. And I say this to you all the time. Um, I really think that there is a space for someone that thinks the way that you do. And it wasn't surprising to me that on your um, birthday, there were hundreds of messages of people telling you that you have changed their life. Your ideas do that. And I really would like to support that as long as you would love to do that. I think that you have a voice and I think that that voice is powerful. And I don't care what I have to do, I have to support that voice because I think that that voice is the purest soul and I think that that voice changes lives. And as long as you are willing to just be who you are and strive to be the best person that you could be, I want to be there every single step of the way and I don't care what my job is in doing that either. Okay. But number two, people throw this word soulmates around but I really do think that you and I are soulmates. It was actually really funny when Sue was speaking earlier because I've said to you before that I think that you and I met in another life and that I promised you that we would be here again. So I feel like I've lived up to that um, as well. And the very last thing, so Kanye knows, Kanye knows some of this, not all. So uh, I'm gonna skip right to the end. So there were three times in my life that I prayed and I prayed with such confidence and such passion that I knew exactly when that prayer was done that God had answered it. It didn't matter how long it took, I knew that that prayer was answered. So I spoke to Kanye and I told her about the first two, but I never actually told her about the, the last one because I was saving it for today. So Kanye, the third prayer that I had, I asked for God to send me a friend. I asked for God to send me someone that I could share this journey with. And the minute that I asked that question, I knew that God didn't just listen, but that He answered it as well. And I got cocky at that point <laughs> because I had two prayers that I'd done the exact same thing with. So I said, let's get spicy. And I said to God, you know what? Can she be the most beautiful woman that I've ever met? <laughs> And then I said, and then I said, because I would like to fall deeply in love. Now, the first two prayers that I had, the first one, it took three months to happen. The second one took a year to happen. So after I asked the question and I knew that Kanye was coming, a year went by and I was like, cool, God, I know you have a timeline. And then two years went by and I was still cool. And then three years went by and I was still cool. And then by the fourth year, I was like, hey, God, I thought that you listened. Like, didn't we have an agreement? And then five years and six and then seven years went by. And then I met Kanye in Cape Town. And the funny thing is, I was supposed to go to film school the year prior to that. But the principal at the school that I was teaching had asked me to stay an extra year. And Kanye and I always talk about that. If I had gone that first year, I might not have met Kanye in the way that I did. Because the very first day of film school, I met Kanye. I sat right next to her and everyone was around her. And I looked at her and I thought that she was really beautiful. And for some reason, the universe spoke through my brain. Because before I could even catch it, I said to Kanye, hey, you were so beautiful. 
you should model. And then everyone laughed because she was on TV for like five years already at that point. <laughs> and Kanye did the one thing that I didn't expect. She turned to me and she said, you are the sweetest person. I can tell that you are very kind. And then she essentially asked if the two of us could be friends. And we were friends for like eight months before we actually got into a relationship. And I think that that eight months was probably the most important time in our relationship. Um, so now I'm back to the universe because seven years is long, man. Um, but what I realize is, is that the universe knew that Kanye was perfect for me, but it also knew that I had a lot to learn. It knew that I had to grow so that when I met her, I would be perfect for her. And I think that the timing of when the two of us met was really and truly divine intervention because I cannot see my life without you and I love you with all my heart. <laughs> <laughs>